Hello everyone, this is Nicole from Pipify's implementation team and in this video I'm going to show you a little bit better about the type of fields that are available in Pipify today. Uh, so first of all, a field is to a face or a start form, where a brick is to a wall. They are the elements that together make your pipe exist. So everything that you see in a start form or in a face, uh, such as instructions, radio buttons, checklists, they're all fields and you can create and edit as many fields as you need to standardize your process. The fields represent your process rules and they will ensure a standard pattern of execution in order to prevent misunderstanding among team members, mistakes and inefficiencies. So let's put this on in, in practice. I'm gonna open a task card here and as you can see uh, we have these top buttons here and each of the card has a set of six top buttons which is due date, labels, assignees, attachments, checklists and comments. Um, these top buttons are displayed uh, in all of the phases unless you choose to disable them or add a field of one of these types with the option uh, synchronize um, the fields with the cards fixed uh, field option. Okay, if you want to do it, uh, all you have to do is to click here and to um, disable the fields that you don't want to appear. Okay. Uh, once you're adding a new field to a start form or a face, uh, you will see a menu with all the available field types. And they are divided basically into standard fields and advanced fields. I'm going to give an overview of the types of fields that we have. So let's start with the long text field and the short text field. Um, they will be used when you have information such as comments or any detailed information that you want. Uh, as short or long. Uh, the statement type of field uh, is when you're giving instructions about this specific face. It's just shown as a plain text uh, in your face. Okay? Uh, we also have the option to select an attachment type of field uh, where you have the option uh, of setting a custom validation uh, when setting up this field so that users can only upload fields within a specific extension. If I click on it, you're going to see here custom validation and you can define the type of files that you're going to uh, be accepted. It's important to mention that uh, for all these type of fields, you have the option to add a description for the field. So, for example, description and it will appear this way here. So, title and it will be displayed right below uh, the title of the field, the field label, okay? You also have the option to add a help text, which is similar to the description, but it will be shown this way here, okay? And you can also define the field as required or um, a minimal view. When you click on it, the field will open. Other types of fields that we have is uh, checkbox, which can be horizontal or ver vertical, checklist, uh, and assignee select, uh, date and date and time. Uh, you can also add labels, email, phone number, um, a field for a time or a numeric, or also a currency type of field. Um, we also have this document ID type of field here, which is uh, fields for inserting Brazilian document numbers, such as uh, CPF is for people and CNPJ for companies. So these fields, uh, they, are, they have specific input restrictions and number formats, just, just for you know. It's also important to mention the difference between the drop-down select and the radio select. Um, the radio select is more used when you have situations of such yes or no. Uh, and the drop down select, uh, when you have multiple, multiple choice fields in which the user can only select one option from. Uh, this drop down select is better suited to situations when you have options such as a city list, a state list, or, or something like this. In the advanced fields, we have the field conditionals. Uh, with, in which you can hide or show fields depending on a specific scenario. Uh, we also have the card ID, um, which is automatically generated when the card is created, and it's the card's unique ID. But we also have this connection field here, uh, and you can use this field to create connected cards or database records from a specific phase of your process. In the connection type of field, uh, you have to select a connected pipe or table that you're going to use. 
And you also have um, some extra options such as the field function, the number of entries, and uh, some advanced rules, okay, uh, which includes the outer field of the other fields. And guys, everything that I'm doing here inside this phase, you can also do the same way for the start form, okay? You just have to click here to customize the, for the form, and you're going to have the same options of fields that we have inside of each phase, okay? Uh, also, it's important to mention uh, how can you delete a field. You just have to click on it, on these options, and you have the option to edit this field when you're going to be directed to this page, or you can also delete this field or move up or move down. So guys, regarding fields, basically that's it. Uh, if you have any other specific question, uh, please feel free to contact us through our uh, in-app chat. Okay, we'll be more than glad to help you.